Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, March 19th. A little bit later this morning, uh, the biking season has started. So we were out on the bikes this morning before work. Um, not much, not much happened, or we didn't miss much in the hour uh, that I normally post. So let me just get right through this. Um, as we were talking about on Twitter yesterday, we're looking at this Urien now. Funny bar, this bar here, uh, this four hourly bar yesterday, big down draft. This thing looks like it wants to get through this 126.10 area. Um, we've got to keep an eye on Boons, which are 164.21 currently. If Boons are floating higher and equities switch a little bit lower, this Urien could easily um, fall down through this horizontal line, 126.10. If we do get through this, obviously there's a lot of uh, fresh air below. So we'll be entering into shorts uh, through 126.10 and then managing a core short after the, afterwards. So that's something that's on our radar. Equities. Keep waiting for the down signal. Today we will sell high ones. Uh, we'll be selling 2849s and 2859s. Why? Because of this here. We all remember this day. We were selling through 70. This upward sloping trend line here broke. Um, so this is actually going to be sort of the first touch of this region. So it was this line here. We all sold through, and we all got paid, we all remember it. So there's going to be some congestion between um, 60 and 70, and we're going to use that technical resistance to get short. And then from there, we're just hoping for some bad news, or hoping for some hawkish Powell, uh, or we'll be looking for some negative price action in the candlesticks. What else is out there? Sterling bounced back yesterday after printing that uh, 131.83 low. Today we've been up to 80, 132.80. There's not much to do here in cable. Uh, we're just waiting on headlines. Looks like they're going to extend. Uh, although you just never know what's going to happen at this point, so I would I would just avoid cable. Elsewhere, the dollar is a little bit offered, and dollar yen is what's carrying these cross yen lower. We've already been down to 111.15 today. The big point in dollar yen is is actually 110.75. Although to be fair, this line is going to be drawn by a lot of uh, participants, so we should keep an eye on it. Probably this low here, right up to well, we're kind of through it now. This kind of defines the uptrend here. Um, we don't get seriously bearish until we're we're, we're through uh, 75, 110.75. But the dollar looks a little bit weak going into Powell. Um, but low vol still, low vol. Aussie, we've done nothing ridiculously low vol. I mean, that is just awful. Yesterday we printed that uh, 19 high, and today we've been 90.10. What a joke. Dollar CAD, again, nothing going on. It's 2060. Uh, we know all the all the big banks have uh, put out this dollar CAD higher. Um, prescription. But I tell you what, look at crude here. This shit's not going down. Um, let me remind everyone that... Uh, June crude, or or this is we're on the next month of crude, so the the liquid crude price is higher. Actually, I think it's June crude we're we're trading, or it might be May crude. It's CLK, uh, so that's trading around fifty nine forty, um, and so I do think this was a sell uh, first time up to sixty sixty bucks, but no strong conviction there. Just kind of a just kind of a feeling on that. Otherwise, the rest of the cross yen are just floating around in the middle. Our main focus today is going to be on this euro yen. Um, we're hoping to see 129.10 break 
I mean 126.10 break uh, and then if we do we're core short from there kind of in a waiting period here till FOMC now not a lot going on today we do have some sterling numbers average hourly earnings unemployment numbers we have German zoo uh, nothing else really we do have the budget release in Canada that's a tentative time slot sometime this afternoon and we've got um, assistant governor uh, Bullock from the RBA he's speaking that's actually going to be Wednesday morning 2 a.m. Swiss time so it's not really going to help us. Anyway, it looks like a quiet day on the calendar. Um, we're going to need either an equity move or a move in fixed income to get these currencies going. All eyes are on Euro Yen. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.